Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I built this curved wall with windows in Blender and brought it into Omniverse. Just to show you, these three images right here are all AI images and the same for this texture here is the same granite texture that the back wall has is used for the little stage, which is just a cylinder. And these are just uh, cubes that I added to like little steps so that they can get up and down off the uh, stage. And this is the curved wall with windows and this is just a clear glass, uh, all the windows are. So if you want to stick around, I'm going to be using an $8 extension called Simple Bend and I'll put the link to the Blender Marketplace or you can just search Blender Market if I forget. But I'm going to go ahead and jump over to Blender and show you my workflow. I will warn you, I'm not a Blender guru, so I'm kind of learning Blender as I go, but it's pretty powerful. A lot of stuff I used to have to buy and now I can create it. So first thing I'm going to do is just shift a mesh cube. I'm going to change the scale for the wall to be 0.4. The Y is going to be 12, and the Z is going to be 3 meters, which is about 9 feet in American plus some. And then the Z axis is going to be 3, so that kind of just levels it out. And then from here, what I'm going to do is tab into edit mode, hold down the control key and hit R so I can create some loops. Let me make sure I got that select. It doesn't seem to be... There we go. Okay. Sometimes it, I got to have my mouse in the right place so you can see it. And I usually do this about eight times just to give some little loops. Hit enter twice to get that set up. And now I'm going to tab out of edit mode, object, apply, scale. And then next what I'm going to do is create a cube for the windows. So we'll just say shift A, mesh, cube. It's going to be two meters tall. The Z is going to be three to get it up off the ground. And the Y is going to be negative 10. Okay, that did not take for some reason. Negative 10. My number pad is not on for some reason. There. Okay, and now I want to go to this second cube and say object apply scale. And now I'm going to use the array modifier to create copies of this. So we'll just say add modifier array. The, we're going to create nine of them. And oops, that didn't take. I don't know why my number lock keeps going off there. Okay, and it's not going to be the x-axis. It's going to be the y, and that's going to be 1.25. And then now we'll go apply that, so our windows. And now we're going to create a Boolean to get rid of. So select the first cube, add modifier, Boolean, and select the second cube and hit apply. So now if I delete this, we have windows. And now we're ready to create our loop. This is where I'm going to be using Simple Bend. Hopefully you know how to install an extension. If you don't, there's a thousand YouTube videos on it. Okay, so what I want to do is select my cube, tab into edit mode, and then hit A for all. Let me make sure I got this all selected. Okay. Oh, tab into edit mode, A for all, and then right click, Simple Bend. And you should see this little arrow at the top. Just hold the shift key down and move this. Oops, I got to do this again because my mouse moved on me. I'm going to 270, which is three quarters of a circle. Q to confirm. And now I'm going to tab out of edit mode and shade auto smooth. So we have our curved wall. And, but we don't have windows yet, so we're going to create the windows now. So what we're going to do next is uh, just make sure this is selected. Shift A, mesh, cube. It's going to be two meters tall. It's going to be three on the location Z. It gets it up off the ground. And the scale Y is going to be 12, just like the other one. And the scale X is going to be 0.2. So that gets us uh, a little bit of our... Okay, so that's going to be our window pane. So now we're going to add the loops just like we did before. So I'm going to tab into edit mode, hold the control key down and hit R. Do this about eight times, probably plenty there. Hit enter twice. 
And now what I want to do before we do the, uh, I need to apply the rotation and scale. So I'm going to tab out, or actually just scale, object apply scale. And now we're going to use simple bend again to, so we're tab into edit mode, hit A to select all, right click, simple bend, should see the same little setup basically. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and go to 270. Hopefully that appears right in place. And now hit Q to confirm. And now what we want to do is tab out of edit mode. Okay. Not, oh, I'm hitting the Q key. My, key. my finger was in the wrong place, sorry. Okay, so now we have our windows in place. So now we're going to add another Boolean. This time we're going to select the second cube and click the modifier tab, add modifier Boolean, select the first cube, and hit apply. So that should get us our windows. Let me hide the first one. It actually created these two little extras, but we're going to get rid of that. But the first thing we're going to do is tab into edit mode and hit P to, and we want to separate by loose parts. So now we're going to delete these two and we'll say vertices. I guess I got to do that one at a time. Okay, that didn't seem to be working. I don't know why. Let's try this one more time. Let me figure out which one that is over here. Seems to work better sometimes. Okay, maybe it's up here. I don't know why. Can't seem to get rid of that. Let me tab out of edit mode. Okay, that worked. Okay, now I want to shade auto smooth for our cubes. So I think I can select all these at once. And I've got to figure out which one of these are not really here anymore. Right click, shade auto smooth. That one didn't seem to be selected for some reason. Okay, and now we're gonna go through these and rename them just to get it. Uh, I'm gonna call the cur the first cube is gonna be our curved wall. I got my caps lock key on for some reason there. And then this is window one. I'm gonna copy a window to my clipboard just so I don't have to type it every time. That's window one, window two, window three. Luckily there's only nine, so this won't take much longer. And you just double click to get into it so you can rename it. That's window five, window six, window seven, window eight, and window nine. And that, I don't know what it is. Let me see if I can delete that without, okay, didn't seem to mess up our anything. All right, so now we're going to export this to Omniverse. But before we do, we got to make this visible. And I want to select all these. And I'm going to add a modifier for triangulate. And this just makes things, it smooths out all the, I guess you call them normals or something. Otherwise, the walls will be messed up and we're going to apply that. So now we have our object ready to be exported. So I'm going to select everything, come over here, File, Export. And by the way, I'm using the Omniverse Launcher version of Blender. It's 3.6 alpha, but it exports to Omniverse or to USD a little better than the uh, default Blender. I've had some issues with that, so but you can use the other one if you want. All right, and from here we're going to export everything. So I think I've got it all selected. Okay, and I'm going to choose selection only because I want to make sure everything that I have selected is exported. I'm going to call this curved wall with windows. Make sure I've got my right folder here. It's in the, let me go to this. Okay, and I'm going to make this curved wall with windows two because I already have this, I think. Yeah, okay. And now we'll just export that. And now we're gonna go over back to Omniverse Composer. I'm gonna hide my current curved wall with windows and bring in another one. And I'm gonna temporarily hide my roof just so you can I can see where things are a little better. All right, so next what I wanna do is go to my content tab. I already had this folder selected. 
I just called this planetarium because the scene did look a lot different. But so now I'm going to bring in my curved wall with Windows 2. Now the scale is all messed up in the latest version of Create, so I have to increase this to 4500. This is going to be 8000, and this is going to be 4500. And I'm going to rotate this on the y-axis 90 degrees, and I'm going to put this at zero. This needs to be zero, and this needs to be negative 500. And just to kind of make sure everything looks right there, Okay, and now we're going to apply materials. So I am going to go to each of these windows. I don't think I can do them all at once. Maybe I can, but I'll just select Windows 1. And I have a material that's already been added here. Let me see if I can minimize that there. See, this will give us our drop down a little better. So I've got clear glass, and I'll go to Window. Let me make this in order just so it's alphabetical. They just recently got that working in Omniverse. Okay, so that's one. This one will be clear glass. Window three, clear glass. Window four, clear glass. Window five, window six, seven, eight, clear glass and nine clear glass okay and now the curved wall itself which is right here the curved wall and that is Omni PBR 03 it just so happens to be okay so that was my quick video for how to create a curved wall with windows let me know what you think of that uh, my next thing I want to ask you is if anybody's interested in this extension. I was considering or I'm considering building an extension called a theme editor. Let's say you have a scene like this and you want it to look a certain way, but then you might have another theme that instead of having this texture for like this is named, uh, you know, it's right wall or whatever. I'm using Omni PBR 02 but you have another set of materials that you could apply to the same scene or you might make an object visible such as I've got these lights if I show you right now they're hidden because I had this scene looking a lot different here I don't think the lights look as good but the way I had the scene before it looked pretty good having the the cylinders around the the wall but what do you think of a theme editor so the same scene could have different looks let me know your thoughts down below Alright, thanks for watching and have a great day.